And I am more confident than ever that actually an outsider like me, me in particular in this race, can absolutely defeat the odds and win an election just as Donald Trump did last time around. And it says as much about the improved pipes that we have, thanks to new media that disintermediates television, but it says something even deeper, Dr. Peterson, about the people. The people can tell when they're being lied to. And I think that we live in this moment where the government, where the media, where the establishment believes that the people can't handle the truth. It's like Jack Nicholson at the end of the A Few Good Men, right? You can't handle the truth. I think the people live in a moment today, and it's the voice that I'm representing on their behalf, on our behalf, to say that, you know what? We, the people, can handle the truth about COVID, about the Nashville shooter manifesto, about the Hunter Biden laptop story, about what really happened on January 6th, about what really happened over the course of the last year of vaccine mandate policies. We can handle the truth. Sometimes it's ugly, but just give us the truth. And I think that that's something that if a good thing has happened over the last 10 years through the Trump administration and otherwise, I think we have a populace, a population that was trained on knowing that they have been lied to, which means that they are badly starved, hungry for somebody, a human being, a medium, et cetera, where they know they're at least able to get the truth or be able to tell the difference if they're being lied to or not. And I think that is a powerful moment that we live in. I mean, how special it is to be alive in a moment like this. It's like if you were alive in 1775 or the spring of 1776, you'd have a lot of reasons to be upset about a tyrannical government. But what did they do back then? It was a special time, a unique time to be alive. I think we're in one of those moments where it is actually a pretty unique time to be alive if we're open, if we're willing to open our eyes and see it that way. And then when you have a bunch of other politicians who preach about the virtues of incremental reform or I'm going to reform X, Y, or Z, I almost don't use the word reform anymore. I think the real choice in this election, in this moment, is do you want reform or do you want revolution? And and I stand on the side of Revolution, actually. I stand on the side of the American Revolution. I'm not talking about violence or anything like this, but I'm talking about a revolution of those 1776 ideals, a revival of the American Revolution itself. And in some ways, I'm far more optimistic today. Ironically, you would have thought it might have gone the other direction. I would have thought it would have gone the other direction. I'm actually more optimistic today than when I began in late February, than when you and I spoke this March. Because I believe that actually we absolutely are in a revolutionary moment. There's electricity in the air. It is a special time to be alive. And if we're able to awaken the positive instincts that come out of that, boy, do I think good things are going to happen in the next 18 months. And this election is just going to be one of them.